Hey YouTubers, Glenda here. I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit tonight about um, how to know what your gifts are. How to know what your spiritual gifts are. Um, this is one step in um, determining what God has called you personally to do if there is a call on your life. Um, everyone has a purpose. Um, many have a call. Uh, much fewer, many fewer are chosen, and um, we all have a purpose. We're all, you know, created to worship Him and to serve Him and uh, to love one another. Many people are called to do uh, other things, maybe called to ministry or called to uh, war for the kingdom, um, called to apostleship, uh, to plant churches, to prophesy. Um, you can be called, you know, to be a person who offers hospitality. There are many uh, spiritual gifts, and you can find uh, those listed in uh, Romans chapter 12, list some, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, Ephesians 4. Um, and one of the things that we need to do as Christians is we need to determine what our gifts are so we can determine uh, if there is a call in our life. And uh, if there is a call in your life, it is always your choice whether you answer that call or not. A call is... Um, a special thing that God has created you to do, and He has placed a special, special set of gifts and a special uh, anointing or enablement or empowerment in you to do these things. It is your choice whether you choose to do them or not. Any time you answer a call on your life, there, uh, the enemy always brings adversity and attacks because um, the anointing defeats the enemy. The anointing breaks the yoke of bondage off of people. Um, and, and there are many ways that we can determine what those gifts in us are. So I want to talk a little bit about a few of the gifts and um, like how you would recognize, you know, how something in your life might be a sign that you have a particular gift, that sort of thing. So um, there are also, before I go further, there are also places on the Internet you can do a Google search for a spiritual gifts online test. And there are places where you can take a free uh, test. It's like a long questionnaire. The one I took was, I think, 108 questions. That will help you determine which gifts you have. Uh, and you can take it several times to be sure, you know, if the same ones show up. And the main ones you want to look at are like the top five. Uh, and in that test, it, it will it defines each gift and kind of tells you uh, in, the, in the kingdom what those gifts are, you know, uh, used for. So... Uh, one gift that we'll talk about, the gift of exhortation, uh, you can find um, scriptures about that in Romans chapter 12. The gift of uh, exhortation is uh, basically the gift of encouragement. It's the gift of uh, being a person who uh, enjoys naturally encouraging other and others and building people up. Um, and that that's a that's a ministry everybody can have. And nobody's really excluded from you know uh, encouraging other people. That's a good thing for all of us to do. Uh, the gift of exhortation, uh, if you, uh, let's say that you were 30 years old before you got saved. Um, and in those 30 years, even though you weren't saved and you weren't really walking with God, but you, you like to encourage people, you like to build people up, that would be an indication that that spiritual gift might already be in you. And what happens is when you get saved, then God begins to use that gift for His purposes. Uh, and the difference would be, you would still encourage people, but he might bring you particular people to encourage or build up for uh, his purposes of, of furthering the gospel and building the kingdom. Uh, one of the gifts is teaching. Um, if you enjoy teaching, if you enjoy uh, training people, that sort of thing, uh, you might have a teaching gift. Uh, before I was saved, many years ago, um, I remember someone remarking to me once when I was on uh, a job in the oil and, and gas industry, that's been about 10 years in, and saying, he walked up to me in the courthouse where I was and I was training someone and he said, every job I have ever seen you on, and he had known me for years, he said, you're always training people. And that was a gift um, that was placed in me, you know, that, that I didn't know that God had placed the gift of teaching in me before I was saved. But he had given me a natural desire to want to teach. Um, and that's how it came out before um, I was walking with him. And then after I began walking with God, then he began to use that gift um, to help other people. Um, so that's that would be like the gift of teaching. That's one of the gifts. Um, 
there are some some people who have uh, natural wisdom. Uh, sometimes it will show up at a very young age or encounter a, a small child that's maybe three or four years old who, who will continually, not once in a while, but continually speak things out of their mouth that are just profoundly wise. Sometimes you will see the gift of wisdom show up like that. And then later, uh, if they are in a walk with Christ, then that gift of wisdom will be used to... Uh, you know, edify the body, build people up, and that sort of thing, or to bring words of wisdom to people in certain situations. Um, what would be another gift? Another gift would be discernment. Uh, discernment is the ability to discern good from evil, uh, good spirits from bad spirits. And one of the ways that discernment shows up when you're not saved is uh, sometimes you will see things that other people don't see, and the reason is because you're seeing, not because you're hallucinating, but because you are seeing into the dark realm, because you have a natural ability to do that, that uh, the majority of people do not have. You might have dreams where uh, uh, you are visited by uh, undesirable beings, so to speak. Um, you might walk into places and feel uh, an eerie feeling or a scary feeling, or you might feel evil there and not realize why you feel that. That is generally the gift of discernment. The gift of discernment generally goes with um, a call to do spiritual warfare, to uh, war for the kingdom, or uh, a ministry of deliverance, getting people uh, delivered of demonic affliction. Uh, generally, along with discernment and a warfare call, um, very often you will see the gift of healings also will go with that. Not always, but a lot of times it will. And part of the reason is because not all but many illnesses and uh, you know, crippling effects in the body can be caused by demonic affliction. And we see this um, very clearly in the ministry of Jesus. You know, the woman who had the issue of blood for 18 years, uh, the spirit of infirmity. Um, you know, and others that he cast out and they were set free and they were healed. So uh, sickness doesn't always come from uh, demonic forces, but it can. And so sometimes you will see the gift of miracles uh, go along with that uh, spiritual warfare. Um, the spiritual warfare call and the gift of discernment. Um, you will not see uh, someone who's called a warfare who does not have the gift of discernment because you cannot war in the spirit if you cannot see, uh, if you can't sense who you are warring against. So those gifts are always together. Uh, there are gifts of mercy. If you have a great deal of compassion for people who are hurting uh, or certain groups of people and to the point that you weep for them, uh, that is very often a gift of mercy and that uh, very often I have seen that gift go with the gift of intercession, which, which is the gift to uh, pray for sometimes hours and hours and weep and what we call travail in the spirit, which is to weep and cry out to God for a person or group of people that you feel great compassion for. Uh, God, it's kind of like God shares his heart with you, the pain that he feels when he sees the suffering of that group of people or that person. But he needs someone on earth to raise their faith up, lift their faith up for that person or that group in intercession and cry out to him and say, God, I'm believing you're going to do something to help this group of people or this person. Uh, that's the gift of mercy and the gift of intercession uh, working together. And very usually see those two together. I won't say every case because I've not seen every case. But so um, those are a few of the spiritual gifts. I'll try to post some links up uh, in the description so you can um, investigate them further if you want. If you feel there is a call in your life, um, it's very important to uh, determine what that call is if you intend to answer it. If, you, if you're seeking God, He will reveal that call to you. If you're unable to discern the call yourself, pray and ask God to send someone to confirm it to you. Pray and ask God to send you a mentor if you feel like uh, you want to answer the call but you're not sure what to do. And what God will do is he will send someone that's uh, a little further along in the walk than you are that will teach you and train you up into that call. It's usually someone who has similar gifts or, or who understands your call and your situation and whatever. Um, and because he wants you to get ready even more than you want to get ready. So uh, God's always in favor of us doing that. So I'm about out of time. And I want to say I uh, hope you can find out what your call is. Feel free to email me if you have any questions or if I can help you in any way. Um, and thank you for watching, and everybody have a great night.